mistakes are unavoidable. Even the most experienced one will make the mistakes sometimes. But by learning these mistakes, you can avoid them and improve your workflow from the start. In this video, we will explore 10 common mistakes beginners make in Framer. And the last one is most important. The number one mistake is not grouping elements. Let's see with an example. So here is the example design. So let's replicate this design in our canvas. Let's create a frame inside this desktop and we need to make the design as like this. So let me copy this and paste it here and bring it as like in our design. Let's copy, let's paste, let's do like this. Again, I'm copying this paragraph. I'm just doing as like in our design. I'm copying this button and pasting it so that we have finished this content. Next is the image. I'm copying this image and pasting it inside it so that we have replicated this design but we didn't follow up the grouping so this is the first mistake actually we just bring the text and image as in this design but we haven't grouped the elements let me show you what will happen if i make this frame as tag i'm going to the layout and making it as tag so because of not grouping this element properly the each of the element has been collapsed so it's a very must thing to group the elements properly so let's make this out this button the title the content and button should be under a wrap so let's make the wrap by using ctrl alt enter a stack will be created actually we doesn't need like this the direction isn't horizontal we need to make the direction to vertical but also it's not appropriate we need to make the width to fill and height to fit according to the content and also the alignment is not looking like the design so let's make the alignment to the left so that we have created the wrap for this content next we need to create a appropriate spacing at the left and right so let's give the padding value to 30 next we need to give the a gap between this content as in our design so I'm selecting this wrap so let's give the gap to 25 so that we made a gap as like in our design so this is the mistake usually the beginners do they will not group the elements so on because of not grouping the elements properly the layout will be collapsed so you have to make sure that all the elements have been grouped now the second mistake is not using the proper naming convention we have created as in our design but coming to the layers we haven't named at first it may feel okay to leave it as like this without giving any names but it always a good practice to give the name for each of the frames in future you may get confused the what is the purpose of this particular section so it always a good approach to name each of the frames so let me give the name of this the stack will be the hero section the second stack will be it is a content wrap so let me make it as content wrap this one will be tag and inside this tagline next is a title a content next is the button and this is a text next is the photo so this is how you need to give the a naming for each of the frames so in future if you see this you can able to understand this is the hero section and this is the content wrap and this is the photo so it is always a good practice to give the name for each of the frame to avoid the confusion for you and for others too and the third mistake is not using containers you may feel the containers with max width or min width is not necessary it will be okay the background of the website for all of the section follows the same color but in some of the case if any of the section has a different color then we need to make the containers let me show you here we have a white color let me duplicate this hero section again let me make the height of the desktop to fit content it will feel okay let me preview this it's occupying the full width it should not occupy the full screen it should be contained with a particular min width or max width so for that we need to give the min width or max width in this case it has a background of white color so for that i'm going to the hero section and giving the max width to 1200 now let me preview this so it's not exceeding the 1200 max width and in some of the case this hero section with follow up with some of this color 
let me give this color if i give this hero section max width to 1200 now let me show the preview if i enlarge the screen this color is not taking the full screen so in this case we can use an another wrap we can give the name as container and there we can give the max width now let me remove this and going to the hero section i'm just choosing both of this let me create a wrap above this that is the control alt enter let me make it as container let me give the width to fill and height to fit content now here we can give the max width that is 1200 let me preview this is what we expect so it always a very good approach to create the container wrap with the max width even though it is not necessary to create the container but it will give the a very good a finishing look the number fourth mistake is not using the textiles and color styles so now let me select this title under the text here we can give the content font weight color size and also we can provide the tag that is the h1 in any of the page we may use these styles so instead of copying this title and pasting in any of the pages it's always a very good practice to create a text style for this to create the text styles i'm going to the text i'm creating a styles under this you can find new styles here we have a plenty of option from here we can choose heading one and in this heading one we can edit here we can provide the font weight styles the color we need the transform decoration alignment even we can provide the uh, breakpoints for the large breakpoint medium breakpoint and a small breakpoint so once we create the textiles it can be reused so some of the beginners will not create this textile they will just simply copy and paste it in any of the pages so it is always a very good practice to create the textile for each of the heading and also the paragraph the next is the color styles so let me go to this textile again here we have a color so instead of pasting this hexadecimal value we can create the styles so in order to create the style for this color i'm going to this plus icon so the new color style will be created here i can provide the name that is as black so the color style will be created and so we can use this color style again and again wherever we need so always don't forget to create the textiles and color styles to reduce your time and the fifth mistake is not using the appropriate text elements in some of the case let me duplicate this let me create a new style with the heading 2 let me make the size to 20 and the weight will be medium so let's make it as a scenario so actually the tag will be the heading 2 in some of the cases this paragraph font weight and size will be exactly the same as the h2 so what the beginners will do they will just simply use the style of this heading 2 actually this is the paragraph so the tag for this paragraph should be p it should not be the h2 so you always have to use the appropriate text element for each of the paragraph and also for the heading if it is a heading you need to use the appropriate heading whether it is a h1 h2 or h3 so if it is a paragraph you need to use the paragraph text element so always don't mess up with the headings and the paragraph always use the appropriate text elements the sixth mistake is not using compressed image if you didn't use the compressed image, the performance of the website will be reduced a little bit. So in order to make the compressed image, we have a lot of website. One of the website is Tiny PNG. So in this Tiny PNG, you can drop the high quality images and make the compressed image. So let me drop the image and from here, the compressed image will be created. So that I can save this. And I'm going to this image. Let me choose the compressed image. So it's always a very good practice to use the compressed image if the image of this quality is very high. If we use the large number of high quality images, it will affect the performance of the website. So make sure to use the compressed image. The seventh mistake is neglecting responsiveness. The website design should adapt to different screen size. Beginners sometimes forget to test their website design in mobiles and tablet devices so it will lead to user experience issues. So always don't neglect the responsiveness. 
so coming to our design in order to create the tablet breakpoint and a phone breakpoint just simply click this plus icon and create the tablet and phone now we can make the necessary adjustment let me let me choose this title let's make the width of this to fill and next one to fill the paragraph to fill again paragraph to fill but it's not looking great so let's change the direction of this hero section to vertical so that it makes sense and coming to the second one again let me make the direction to vertical vertical and let's give the gap and make the width to fill fill so yeah so we made the responsive for the tablet next is the phone again let's make the direction to vertical and make each of the width to fill 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 and fill and let's reduce the height the same follow-ups but coming to here we have a container so let's make the direction to vertical fill fill let's give the gap let's reduce the height so that we have the desktop breakpoint tablet breakpoint and phone breakpoint let's preview this it's adapting to its screen size so always don't neglect the responsiveness the website design should adapt to the different screen size the eighth mistake is doing changes in layout breakpoint let's get into the design here we have a desktop breakpoint tablet breakpoint and phone breakpoint in some of the cases we may feel we need to reduce the gap between this so you may think if i do the changes here it will affect that desktop let me show you if i make the changes uh, let me make the gap to 15 you may think it will change to the desktop but it doesn't the gap will be still 25 so always make sure to do the changes to the base breakpoint that is a desktop breakpoint even if you have a highest breakpoint that will not be the base breakpoint only if you do any of the changes in the base breakpoint it will affect the other breakpoints if you do the changes in a lower breakpoint it will not affect the higher breakpoint that is the base breakpoint even the tablet desktop even the higher breakpoint than this desktop so always don't do the changes in the lower breakpoint in hope of it will affect the base breakpoint the ninth mistake is not using the components let's get into the design in this design i have created the pricing section it looks great in the desktop even in the tablet it's look great but coming to the phone breakpoint we can't find the first chord and the second chord so for that what we will do we will do the necessary changes we will make the direction to vertical so it will change according to the phone breakpoint in some of the cases we need to use this pricing section in other pages let me show you the example i am going to create a new page and here we need this pricing section what we will do we will just go to this home page and we will copy this pricing and again we will go to this page and we will paste this pricing section and what and for the tablet we will create the tablet breakpoint and again phone breakpoint what happens again we need to do the changes again and again so this is the mistake the most of the beginners will do instead of creating the component they will just copy and paste it in another page so it's always the best practice to create the component to create the component just use ctrl alt k the component will be created and here we can give the name as desktop and we can create the variant for the tablet and again the variant for the phone and coming to the tablet let's give the width to 810 and for the phone 390 and coming to the tablet even here we can see it is not aligned properly in order to make this design to look good i'm going to the container let's make the wrap to yes and make the distribution to the start so that we have made the changes for this pricing section with a tablet and phone breakpoint so instead of copying this we can just use this component so let me add this pricing inside this desktop and make the width according to it so let me make it as fill fill the variant will be tablet and for this the variant will be phone so it is as simple as that and also if you do any of the changes uh, let me make it as 15 dollar so if you do the changes here it will affect all other pages but if you just simply copy the section from one page to another page you need to do the changes again and again in all of the pages 
so always keep in mind don't copy the section from one page to another page if you need to use the same section in other pages also just make sure to use the component so if you do the changes in the component it will affect the all other pages and the tenth mistake is giving up too early learning any new skills requires practice and effort beginners might encounter challenges and become discouraged very easily framework may feel complex at first but here is the thing every design pro you admire started right where you are the key is to keep experimenting and embrace the learning curve and don't hesitate to ask for any help so keep pushing yourself and keep creating and soon you will be building a mind blowing website that leave everyone speechless now get out there and fremesize the world if you enjoyed this video and found value don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your fellow designers subscribe to my channel for more content on the framer web design and development